this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I'm back! Yes! <laughs> Guess what? I was in Europe with my family last week and we got to go to Paris and London and it was lots of fun. So now I'm back, back for more work, back to sharing with you some tips that will help you get your books under control and be able to take charge of your business of your finances and know what's going on today we are going to talk about guess what square again <laughs> keep in mind square integration is a work in progress they're still working on it and there are some problems some some flaws in the integration with the uh with the intuit uh, uh or quickbooks integration with square uh we're going to talk about one right now uh, that is mixing credit card transactions with cash transactions. So what, ha what happens is that once you add that, um, that deposit, it just doesn't match in banking because it has cash mixed up and the cash doesn't get deposited in the bank right away, right? It doesn't get deposited at the same time as the credit card transactions. So it creates a problem. So I'm gonna teach you how to fix that and how to locate that problem as well. And without much further ado, here we go. So we're gonna have a slideshow today. And let me maximize that. Okay, all right. Okay, square integration error cash mixed with credit card transaction. So uh, what's going on here is that when you record, when you record your cash transactions, uh, I'm sorry, when you, uh, when you record the credit card transactions are coming from uh, Square, when you add that from uh, app transaction, it will come as a credit card transaction, it's gonna show, you know, you're gonna see on the app transaction and it's gonna match with what's gonna be in the bank. It's gonna say, oh, seven, 17, 15, and you're gonna go in the bank and it's gonna be the exact same amount. But when you add, there's a problem. It doesn't match and there is a difference and you wanna find out why, why there's a difference, okay? So to find out why, you should just click on the number and this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna open up the transaction and then you're gonna find out the details about this transaction. Okay, so you click on the amount of transaction, open the details and notice there is undeposit cash check. See this $522.76? Yeah, so it's been added to the total collected, but that's not what we're gonna have in the bank deposit, right? So that's creating a discrepancy of $522.76. Okay, so how do we fix that? So, um, what you want to do right now is just to add this transaction anyway. So you're just going to click on the add transactions right here. So, but when you add, obviously it's not going to match. So what you're going to do is you're going to fix that deposit. So to fix the deposit, you're going to click on the plus new on the top left hand side. And that's the, that's the left hand side menu. And we're going to go to bank deposit. Okay. So when you go to bank deposit, you can click on the, this is a little tip. Uh, you can click on the counter clock. There's other ways to get there, but this is, I find it to be the easiest way. Uh, you click on the counter clock. It's going to show me the last deposit. And look, the deposit showing us 1239.91. So remember it, even though it showed as 717.15, which is the amount that hit the bank, once you accept that, it's showing the amount plus that cash transaction. So that is not the right amount, right? So because it has that cash transaction. So if I click on the 1239.91, okay, um, we're gonna see the details of the deposit. So you're gonna see the, the transactions that are selected to be part of the deposit. And in this case here, you see the 736.80 plus the 522.76. This one is right, the 736.80 is right, the 522.76 is the cash transaction and I need to uncheck that. So I'm just gonna uncheck that, okay, the 522, because that's the one that is cash on deposit, cash check, remember? 
and then I'm gonna save and close save and close all right so um, obviously when I before I save and close I'm gonna take a look at the um, deposit amount and it's gonna be the 71715 which is the exact amount in the bank now there are times when there is refunds and the amount of the square fees is different so you have to adjust that so that you can get to the right deposit amount so uh, this is this is the square fee so it's, it's just if you scroll down the deposit you see this part this is the fees that are being charged on that deposit right and sometimes that is different that sometimes you do have to correct that all right okay so after you uh, after you correct that deposit then you'll be able to go to banking. You, you go to banking, go to your bank account and you see that transaction and voila is matching. Remember, this is my favorite, uh, that's my favorite green little button means that everything seems to be great and I can click on match. I know the deposit details because I look at it before and that is the one and voila, we are done. We fixed that, we fixed that transaction. I have another video where I show you how to do it on a different way, on the find a match and then uh, do the difference. But guess what? That is creating a, uh, an error when I reconcile the account. It's another problem with, uh, with QuickBooks, unfortunately. So uh, that's why I'm showing you the alternative way to fix that for now. Eventually, we hope that they fix, fix this integration so that the cash transactions will not come lumped with credit card transactions right so uh hey hey quickbooks that's uh, quickbooks engineers software engineers so that's that's the one thing that needs to be fixed if you watch this video that needs to be fixed but until then for you user bookkeeper business owner that's how we're we're dealing with it so that we can reconcile the account at the end of the day right uh, now I wanted to uh, give you a heads up if you use third part party apps such as uber eats or uh, grubhub or whatever else third party when those transactions come into quickbooks it's not quite working well so at this point i do not recommend the integration with square until they fix the, the the little flaws in the integration okay there are workarounds but it's not really exact um, so there's different things you can do to to record all the fees at the end of the month you can do a journal entry to account for all the the, the fees and the tips and so on and so forth all right well I will get back here let me get back here uh, uh, I'm back okay I hope this video was useful and and I really hope that it will save you some white hairs right because <laughs> I know this this little flaw in the integration is giving some serious headache, headaches and white hairs to a lot of people so hopefully this was um, a way for you to work around and uh, find a solution for the challenge um, and we also hope that in the near future this little integration will be or this little flaw in the integration will be fixed thanks for watching i'll be back next week with more maybe yeah and in the summertime we're going to be throwing two videos a week except um, there will be time when i do need some vacation some time off kind of like last week uh, just some family time, vacation time, relaxing time, whatever you want to call. <laughs> so you can recover and get back for more. If you have any questions, please write down below. Share with us your question. If you want us to cover a certain subject in the future, also write down below. Um, all right, so I'll be back next week. Hope to see you then. And if you like and you have not subscribed, hey, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I promise you, you're not going to regret that because we're going to be bringing updated information, not just about square integration, about just, just everything. Okay, we will be talking about Shopify. I haven't talked too much about Shopify yet because 
uh, yeah, there are a few things uh, to consider when you integrate with Shopify and QuickBooks. Uh, and the QuickBooks one, right? There's different integration tools, but the one from QuickBooks, it's a work in progress. It's getting better and better. But we'll talk about that uh, on another video. And until next time, keep on smiling and I'll see you later.